That that could be really awkward and like super ruin their friendship. Okay, let's go. Oh, am I, am I meddling? And I'm sad and I wanted to know that I still think about him and I wish we were friends. I slept with her twice and I thought that's all it was gonna be. Wait, is she gay though? Oh no. Hi everybody. Today I'm filming possibly one of my favorite videos of all time. We'll see how it goes. This is either gonna go very wrong or it's gonna be awesome. Today, I'm going to be DMing your crushes on Instagram. <laughs> Basically, I saw a couple other people do this. This is not something that I came up with. I'll leave some more videos doing this in the description so I can credit those people. I don't know who the original person was. I'm sorry. I basically posted on my Instagram and said, do you have a crush? If so, do you want me to DM them? If so, what would you like me to say? And I got a crap ton of responses. I hope that it goes well. Some people wanted me to like DM people who haven't talked to them in a while, who they like miss or people who rejected them. And I'm like, okay, you asked me to do it. So you're doing this at your own risk, but I feel very nervous. I'm very nervous about this because I don't know if these people are gonna be mad or rude or if they're gonna hurt somebody's feelings. I don't want anybody to get hurt. They asked me to, so I'm doing it. Okay, so let's just jump right the hell into it. I'm gonna DM people on my account, Danny Cimarelli, which is not the account that I use to post regularly, but it's a verified account. So I feel like they're more likely to respond to a verified person than my other account, which is not verified. So, all right, first person. We're gonna call this person Jenna. Okay, I'm just gonna give people fake names so you guys can follow along. Jenna gave me her crushes at, his name is Chris. Oh, I was gonna have a hard time remembering these names. Jenna and Chris, Jenna and Chris, Jenna and Chris. We've been friends for a really long time. Ah! I'm nervous and I really like him. I've tried to confess multiple times and each time I just get carried away with nervousness. I kind of want to ask him to be my Valentine. So if you can do that, that would be great. <gasps> I love him so much. First, I need to make sure this guy isn't a celebrity. <laughs> I found him. So I'm gonna DM Chris and tell them that Jenna secretly loves them. Okay, let's go. Oh, am I, am I, am I meddling? I'm gonna tell him that somebody's in love with him, but I'm not gonna say who it is until the end. I'm gonna make, I'm gonna keep it a surprise. What if he, what if he doesn't like this person? What if he doesn't know this person? Hi, Chris. So I got a DM from someone saying that they were, oh, I'm making a lot of typos, secretly in, in love, love with, with you, you and wanted you to be their Valentine. What do you think? Not sure if I should tell you their name yet. <laughs> I don't know if I look like I'm fake. I feel like I need to send a different DM. Oh, I'm unsending that. Hold on, I need to send something better. I sound like I'm spamming them. I sound like a bot. That's it. All right, DM'd Chris. Check that off the list. Okay, ah! hi legend, hello. So about the crush thing, I've been best friends with this girl since we were 11 and I've been wanting to ask her out for a while. I don't want our friendship to be ruined but I also don't want to look back and regret never telling her anything. Oh no. Wait, is she gay though? That that could be really awkward and like super ruin their friendship. Like if one person is gay and the other one isn't? Oh no. Oh, okay, you know what? She asked me to do it, so I have to do it. Ah! Hi. This girl, we're gonna call her Megan and the other girl, we're gonna call her Danielle. I got a DM from someone telling me you're at and that they, are, they have feelings for you. They didn't say they were in love, they said they have feelings. But we're too scared to tell you. You guys, oh, what if they know who it is and they don't like them? Oh my God. She really doesn't wanna make things awkward. Okay, sweetie, I understand you don't wanna make things awkward. You're kind of making it awkward. I mean, I'm making it awkward, but you told me to, okay? So this is on you. Should I keep going or do you not wanna know? All right, scent. Ah! All right, this girl looks like she's about 11. So this kind of breaks my heart. My crush's Instagram is at Our story is that I like him and he does not like me. Oh God, oh no. I need you to DM them and ask if they like me and DM them back. You just said that he doesn't like you. Oh, this guy's definitely eight years old. No, guys, I can't be DMing eight year olds. Okay, here's another one. Let's do it. Hey Danny, hope I can say it shortly. At We did theater together for a couple of years. She just came out. <laughs> Maybe you could just say she should give me a chance because I'm an amazing person. All right, slow down. You don't need to say that about yourself. So this is super random, haha. -ha. But I got a DM from a girl saying she low-key likes you. Her name is 
Okay, I did it. Third DM, done. Got a lot of DMs like this. At Harry Styles. We don't have a story because he doesn't know I exist, but I love him. <laughs> oh, I got a DM. Have you guys ever bought anything from anywhere ever? If the answer to that question is yes, then I need to tell you about the sponsor of today's video, which is Fetch Rewards, okay? I have been using this for a while. I found it on TikTok a long time ago, and I was really curious about to whether it was legit and whether I could actually get free stuff out of it, and turns out I can, and turns out it was. So when they reached out to sponsor me, I was super down because I love using it. So basically, it's an app where you just scan your receipts from anything you've purchased from anywhere. They support all retail stores, Amazon purchases, e-receipts, and restaurants restaurants and once you scan your receipt whether it's physical or an e-receipt then you get points instantly from each purchase depending on how much the purchase was and then once you accumulate a certain amount of points then you get a gift card like i said all you have to do is scan your receipts so you just have to take a high quality picture of your physical receipt and you can do that in the app of course Woo! 1400 points oh because i got a i got two bonuses look at that check out my points 2,000 points. And then you can also hook up your email or your Amazon account and you just click this button. It's super easy and it's actually kind of satisfying. It automatically will scan for receipts and then automatically load the purchases in for you. So if you do a bunch of online purchases, you don't have to worry about manually entering it every single one of them. You just click the button once and then it scans for all the purchases. So guys, the app is free. I don't know what you guys are waiting for. You can literally scan any purchase from anywhere ever. And if you use my code Danny C, you can click the link below, download the app, use my code again, Danny C, you can get 4,000 points points for free. I also wanted to point out that it's not just like you get a Visa gift card or an Amazon gift card, like you can get those, but also like so many different stores and restaurants and all kinds of different categories offer giving gift cards through this app, all kinds of places. Like there's so many different stores that support this app that you can get free gift cards through. So I don't, there's literally no reason not to. It's super easy. It's a free app. You can use my code. You can get 4,000 free points and you're going to get free stuff out of it. Okay. And I want you guys to all send me an Instagram message when you do get free stuff out of it because I'm <laughs> really excited for you all to be able to use this like I just did. I saw this one girl online who was reviewing it and she said that when she was using it, she got like a thousand dollars worth of gift cards out of this app just from loading her points. So once again, guys, whether you buy a lot of stuff or you only make a few purchases every now and then, everything counts towards it. You can get your points instantly. It's super easy. It's free. Use the code Danny C and you will get 4,000 points when you scan your first receipt. You're welcome. Thanks again to Fetch Rewards for sponsoring this video. Goodbye. My story is we go to university together. This is Nicholas. He's really cute. I put sticky notes on my window to get his snap and he gave it to me, but we stopped talking and lost touch and I'm sad and I wanted to know that I still think about him and I wish we were friends. Oh my God, I love this story. Okay, we're gonna find him right now. Sorry, this is random, but I got a DM from somebody saying that you guys used to talk. She wanted to know how you feel about her. I kind of made that up, but she said I have creative liberty to say whatever I want, so I'm gonna say that. Ooh! I just put this guy on the spot. All right, this one is juicy. He's my brother's best friend and I've been in love with him for two years. Okay, hold on. We can't be going after our brother's best friends. So somebody DM'd me, you are their brother's best friend, but that they have been in love with you. Head exploding emoji. Do you want me to tell you who it is? I really like this whole asking them you know, keeping it juicy. I'm a little bothered because I think Instagram either deleted a bunch of my DMs or a bunch of people unsent their messages, which wouldn't be surprising. I think a lot of people got excited and regretted it, but I just found a few more. So we're gonna send those. If I do find more, I'm gonna end up doing a part two to this video. So you guys might wanna subscribe and turn on the notifications because then it will remind you when I do the second part of this video and then you won't miss it. So do that. He is my best friend. And honestly, my twin flame. Our emotional communication has been so unclear, I can't build up the nerve to tell him that I love him. I'm doing the best to be the best version of myself that hopefully one day he can love. I don't know if I wanna DM this person. What does it mean you're trying to be the best person to be someone he can love? What does that mean? Wait, what? Taken by an adorable and sweet baby girl. You can't DM this person, they have a girlfriend. I'm not doing that. Ugh, you guys are freaking duping me. I can't DM people who have girlfriends. Next one, guys. She's always been one of my close friends and I've had a crush on her for a little while, but I'm scared to tell her because she's never really said if she's into girls or not. 
please help. Another one of these where we don't know if the person likes girls or not, okay? That is complicated. Hi. Oh, she follows Conscious Gallego. Oh, she knows who I am. So somebody DM'd me telling me that they like you. She, I'm gonna do that. She, so she knows. Isn't really sure. Oh, she already read the message. If you like her back and wanted me to ask, do you want me to keep going? This guy's at is something about Thanos. Something makes me think that that is not really his name, so I'm okay with saying it. I've liked him for five years and I wanna to get to know him, but I'm too shy to ask him. Okay, wait. How have you liked him for five years if you don't know him? That's a good question that I have for you, but you know what? I do as the people ask me to do and I will DM him. Hi, 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 hi. This is super random, but somebody DM'd me saying that they really like you and have for a while and were too scared to tell you, so they asked me to do it for them. Ha ha. Do you want me to tell you who it is? Question mark. Send. I did it. So far we have DM'd one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine people, and we've gotten four responses. And boy, have I left these people hanging. Please DM at blank. We've been friends for nine years and I've loved him forever. Please, could you tell him that I like him and that I've had a crush on him for six years now? Wait, hold on. This person's had a crush on this person for six years? but this person looks six. No, I'm not DMing this person. That person is five years old. Can you DM this person? I know we're friends, but I'm catching feelings for him even though he doesn't know I'm gay. Can you do it anonymously? Okay, I will do it anonymously. I can do that. This is super random. I'm sorry, haha. -ha. But somebody DM'd me and told me that he likes you. Gotta get that across. You don't know he's gay and you're also friends. I'm just gonna say that. I'm just Say that. Guys, I have some news, some things. I went through my DMs, I was looking for some more people, and I found two people who DM'd me. One person DM'd me about a girl, right? That girl DM'd me about a different person. Oh, hell no! So let me read you the first DM I got. Me and blank met about three years ago through a mutual friend. And literally from the moment I saw her, I was basically in love with her. I didn't know at first because I didn't really come to terms with my sexuality until last year. It took me a while to fully understand who I am, but I've had this amazing connection with her, much deeper than anything I've ever felt with my friend. I love being in her company and she's genuinely one of my best friends, which is why I never told her how I feel. So that girl DM'd me and said, can you DM blank and tell her I love her? She's the best thing that's ever happened to me and I want her to be my Valentine, LOL. But I'm gonna DM her anyway and tell her about the other girl. So some Somebody DM'd me saying that they like you. They're in like with you. But you also DM'd me asking me to DM someone else. OMG. So do you like the person you DM'd me about? Or was that a joke? This is crazy. Oh, okay, I DM'd a lot of people. I got a few responses. I'm gonna wait until everybody responds, or at least most people, and then I'm gonna get to the responses. Let me just give you a quick refresher of who responded. Let's just start from the bottom. First we have, I don't even remember what I named him, so I'm not even gonna try to remember, but this first person who we DM'd was somebody who said that the girl had been friends with him for a long time and they really like him and they try to confess, but they got nervous, so they wanna ask him to be their Valentine. Okay, so I said, I got this DM, they're scared to ask you, do you want me to tell you who it is? He said, yes, dot, dot, dot. Who is it, LOL? Haha, -ha, it's do you know them? I'm just gonna say that because what if they don't know them? <laughs> ah, okay. First DM sent. Next person. I said, someone DM me saying that you're their brother's best friend, but they've been in love with you for two years. Do you want me to tell you who it is? And they said, hello, who are you? Man, this is not about who I am. It's about who you are. LOL JK. <laughs> I am a YouTuber who posted asking people if they wanted me to DM their crush. Sorry guys, I'm getting really juicy DMs. This person, I said, it's Amy, do you know them? And they said, OMG, wait, I can just say their name because this person already knows who it is. I said, it's Andy, do you know them? And they said, OMG, that's my ex. <gasps> Does she actually like me too? Cause I still have feelings for her. <gasps> Guys, I am matchmaking right now. He said, I miss her. Oh my God, hold on. She said she loves you a lot and she wants to be your Valentine, OMG. <laughs> I keep saying OMG, I'm like nervous. He said, I'm definitely gonna reach out to her now, thank you. What? Oh my God, is this real? 
This feels like a prank. Back to the guy who said, who, who are you? Who is this? I said, a YouTuber who posted asking people if they want me to DM their crush and he said, oh, for real? And I said, yes. So do you want to know or not? Like, why doesn't this guy care? Back to this conversation. This girl, I said, someone DM me telling me that they like you, but she isn't really sure if you like her back and want me to ask. And she said, um, sure, I guess. I don't really know if she wants to know who it is, but I'm gonna tell her anyway. Yeah! It's a girl. <laughs> She's nervous because she doesn't know if you are into that. Should I say that? Maybe I shouldn't say that. This person, I said, someone DM me saying they really like you and are too scared to tell you. Do you want me to tell you who it is? And they said, what is up my guy? This girl was friends with a girl and said she likes her but doesn't know if she's into her but she doesn't know she's into girls in general so it's safe. And she wanted me to ask if she likes her but they're friends and she just wanted to ruin their friendship. Remember her? So she said, um, keep going, who? Wait, is it? Ha ha, yes. How do you feel about that? Does that make things weird? Ah, this is awkward. Okay, next one, I'm just trying to blaze through these. Next person, I said, this is super random, but someone DM'd me and told me that he likes you, but you don't know he's gay and you're also friends and he doesn't know if he should tell you because he's scared. And he said, oh, that's pretty crazy. Do you mind telling me who it is? I hate to break it to you, but I'm kind of seeing somebody right now. Awkward. Ah! so many storylines happening, I can't even handle it. <gasps> one of the girls is typing. Okay, this girl is the love triangle girl. If you remember before, one girl DM'd me about another girl, and then another girl DM'd me about that other girl, and clearly there was some kind of thing going on here where one person liked another person, and the other person liked another person, and it was confusing. So I said, so somebody DM'd me saying that they like you, but you also DM'd me asking me to DM somebody else. So do you like that person you DM'd me about, or was it a joke? Because her original DM seemed a little bit jokey, if you know what I'm saying. So she said, OMG hi. Wait, I'm so confused. Honestly, I was just sending mine to the girl she DM'd hers to because I know she's lonely, LMAO. See, I thought it was a joke. So it's not a joke, but it was supposed to be lighthearted mess. And I am responding, of course, with OMG. Blank DM me a really long message about how much she cares about you. Guys, am I just like a matchmaker? Do you have feelings for her or no? Okay guys, I responded to everybody's initial DM, but let's go back to some of these conversations that we started earlier. All right, this guy who said, who are you? I said, I'm a YouTuber. And he said, oh, for real? And I said, yes. And I said, do you want to know or not? And then he said, I think I have a good guess. I'm going to say, who do you think it is? Okay guys, good news. Our girl responded to us. This is the girl who I said, she has a girl who's friends with her who likes her. I said, does this make things weird? Should I not have said anything? And she said, okay, uh, wow. I have kind of liked her for a while. No, it doesn't make things weird at all. At least not in a bad way. Wait, I can't believe she has feelings for me too. I don't know what to do with this. So the person who said that they had a crush on their brother's best friend. I said, do you wanna know who it is? They said, I think I have a good guess. And then I said, who do you think it is? And then they said, at, and they said, the girl who DM'd me. She's my friend's little sister though, LOL. Don't know. How do you feel about her? Ha 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 ha. Should I not say that? So I said, how do you feel about her? Are you like interested or no? Because you're friend, because Again, the girl is his friend's little sister. And he said, no clue, TBH. She's way out of my league. Like, I don't even do anything, like at all. So like, yes, but like, LOL, why do I wanna do that? Uh, I sent the girl the DM, remember her? The one who said that she likes the girl back, not the love triangle girl, a different one. She said, we're both socially awkward, that's fair. My brain cannot process this. My little heart is so happy right now, I don't know what to do. OMG, this is two couples I have match made. Match made in heaven. Wait, I got a DM, guys. <laughs> okay, remember? <laughs> the girl likes her brother's best friend. Okay, classic age-old situation, right? So I say, do you like your friend's little bro little sister? And he says, she's way out of my league. And he said, I slept with her twice and I thought that's all it was gonna be. Oh no. You guys slept together, so do you like her? Or you just want to hook up? And he said, hook up, because frankly, I think I'm more into guys like her brother. Is he pranking me? All right, this took a wild turn. So we started off with this girl is in love for two years with her brother's best friend, okay? So then I DM him saying, hey, you're 
friend's little sister likes and you. And he says, oh, I don't know if I'm into her. And I say, why not? And he says, well, we slept together twice, but I'm not really sure. And I say, okay. And he said, well, I think I'm really more into men, like, like her brother. Her brother. <laughs> Guys, this is too much. I'm in too deep. <laughs> Sounds like you got some stuff to figure out. Guys, he just said, she knows I hooked up with her brother after I hooked up with her. It's a wild story. <laughs> he said, don't know why she likes me. Oh my God. Third couple I have match made, guys. The girl in the love triangle. I have had feelings for her for so long, but I'm so confused because I thought she was straight, so I never knew what to do. I can't believe this. What? But guys, all I know is that I just match made like three couples who didn't know that the other one liked the other one. Some people didn't respond to me at all, which was, you know, disappointing to say the least. My favorite was the love triangle between the brother, the sister, and their friend. People are yet to respond to me. So like, I'm gonna have to keep talking to these people <laughs> when they get back to me just after this video. So that's cool. I'll definitely have to do a part two to this video because I have so many people who I could DM that I didn't DM because I didn't have enough time to, you know. And also subscribe to this channel and turn on the notifications, all the notifications, because I post three times a week. So you're not really gonna be able to see if I post this part two, you might miss it. So turn on the notifications, hit subscribe. Thank you for supporting me. I cannot wait for the next video. So thank you guys for watching. I love you all and I'll see you in a couple days. And good luck to all the couples I match made. Hope you're doing good. Bye.